natural gas stayed bearish this week again failing to go past or stay above 2.7 levels but at the same time the point to note is the its inability to stay below 2.48 2.5 zone this we have discussed several times that is still it is trading in this bullish flag formation so can we expect a breakout in net gas next week or is it going to stay bearish and going to give third bearish candle here which position you should take trading natural gas we will see with the help of charts followed with indicators and towards the end i will give you the trading levels and strategy to watch out for do watch till the end do like share subscribe and comment that's a always a great motivation and also press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis on natural gas first i share my first update at before the asia and europe session and next update before the us session do watch both the updates and you can also remain updated by joining my free telegram channel the link is mentioned in the channel and video description with that let's start now see on the weekly charts you have seen the movement here for natural gas in last few weeks see the bottom here is very very clear at 2.06 rise retracement higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows yes it is still trading bullish it is still trading bullish in this bullish channel now the support is very clear is intact at 2.5 levels and hence till the time 2.5 is respected i will not treat it as it as bearish in fact i will take it at notch below till 2.4 i will not treat natural gas as bearish you should keep this i am telling you again and again and it is going to be the fact that till 2.4 also i will not be remaining bearish for next week i will expect it to bounce back strongly now if you look at the momentum here for last couple of weeks what has happened 2.76 yes it has provided a very strong resistance since then couple of red candles but you can see these longer weeks on the downside longer tails on the downside suggest you of that the price is not willing to stay bearish at the same time also if you look at lower highs are seen and hence for the next week if you see it trading about 2.7 just stay long about 2.7 expect 2.76 2.8 to be breached and this time once 2.8 is breached you can expect a sharper green candle we may see either this week or next week we may see oil or natural gas trading above 3 dollar levels be careful be watchful we are still trading bullish on natural gas till the time it respects 2.5 2.4 zone now this is on the weekly charts let's have a look at the daily on the daily chart at this point we have seen four to five candles getting the resistance precisely at same levels and since then it has reversed at the same time one must note this point that it has got the support also intact at the same level. hence this movement is still we are treating as a retracement also if you look at it is giving us lower highs lower lows now i will wait for any breakout beyond 2.7 is where the bulls will take over the charge and it is going to fly high so till 2.7 and 2.76 we have to remain watchful cautious and alert yes about 2.7 we can remain 70% bullish about 2.76 we can remain 85% bullish and about 2.8 we are 100% bullish it is going to hit beyond 3 dollar levels now right now it has retraced and if you look at the preceding two candles see almost symmetrical here but this candle is not identically symmetrical to this also the prices have seen a pull back here from 2.65 level which suggests that the bullishness is getting diminished hence on the upside now you can buy at 2.62 expect 2.65 2.687 zone and then 2.76 zone so you can buy at 2.62 however one has to remain extremely cautious alert for 2.7 is the first resistance and 2.76 is the next at the same time one must note that it is giving you higher lows higher highs which suggests that 2.53 levels is a great support and 2.48 is a great support below which only the bears will take over the charge and we are going to look at 2.4 2.3 levels now this is something on the daily charts now also on the daily charts what we have seen on the weekly charts let me replicate again rise retracement rise retracement rise retracement higher lows higher highs are seen it is clearly a bullish channel and it has already achieved the bottom now coming to the monthly now on the monthly charts so an important observation is see this candle has almost achieved the bottom of the previous candle that is very very important observation achieving the bottom of this candle now it will look forward to a rise and then once it breaks past 2.8 it will try to fly further right now what is happening here is it is giving lower highs as of now and hence i will wait for the breakout you can see this is a consolidation zone right now situating or limited itself in between 2.9 and 2.3 levels this is a good swing zone here 
I what I will expect is since the double bottom is formed, this time the candle is going to be a bigger one and it can continue with the rise from here. That will be my expectation for natural gas in this month. Hence, yes, if it stays about two point six two itself, you can buy. Expect two point six five, two point seven, two point seven six, two point eight, and beyond that, sky is the limit on the upside. Now we have seen the indicate charts. Let's have a look with the help of indicate. Indicators on the monthly chart. See, moving averages are on the verge of a crossover. This is a bearish cross. Cross. Also, the prices are too much divergent from the moving average, and hence the convergence still towards four dollar levels exists. This must try to exist. Remember the rise when it was it was there. It has also converged here, and hence with the drop also it must converge. And hence four dollar levels cannot be denied in the near future. Stock is still rising from the oversold levels. The MACD is sharply bearish. It is probably looking forward to converge crossover. See, almost since last couple of years or more, you can see net gas has completed first cycle here. Now it is willing to give the second cycle here, which means the bullish leg will come first and then followed with a bearish leg, which suggests you of that it can continue for more buying from here. RSI is flat. Coming to the week. Now on the weekly chart, the prices were divergent from the 20 period. It has achieved 20 period. Now 20 period average itself is giving it a good resistance, and hence 2.7, 2.76 zone is a great, great resistance. Yes, the moving averages have crossed over. It is trading with sharp bearish bias here on the weekly charts. Stock ASIC has dropped here. The MACD is divergent and bullish, and this should be still treated as a retracement, not a reversal. See the slope here and here are different, which is suggestive of that this is still a retracement because the reversal has to be a bit more aggressive, which where it tries to break past the highs of the highs of the previous few months of May. Now, if you look at the RSI, this is almost flat on the weekly charts. Coming to the daily, on the daily chart, the 20 and 50 period already crossed over earlier. This is still a bullish sign, but the 100 period moving average is not not yet crossed over. Also, if you look at this, is giving a good resistance on the upside, and hence I will wait for any move about 2.65 and 2.7 levels for me to confirm that natural gas is reverse and it is going to fly high. Stock has to get bottom, trying to rise here. The MACD is bearish; it can probably converge crossover for the buy side any point of time. RSI is seen rising, which is a good bullish sign. Now we have seen the charts, we have seen the indicators. Time for me to define the trading levels and strategies such that you can trade profitably. And before I provide you the levels, if you want to learn this art of trading, you should join my mentorship batch. The twenty fourth batch is going to start on seventh of August. Couple of seats are only left. Reach out to me for more details. My Telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Remember, equip yourself with the tools, techniques, and strategies which help you identify profitable trades and help you trade profitably. Remember, learning is the one investment which will give you returns for the lifetime. And hence, invest in your learning. Join the mentorship batch. Reach out to me for more details again. Also, you can be part of my Signals channel where trading as per the Signals you can benefit. Now. First, let's talk about the levels to buy. We have already discussed this that we can buy at two point six two five levels. Expect two point six five first resistance, two point seven the next resistance. Once it stays above two point seven, more bullishness may prevail, and we are going to look at two point seven six beyond that. If you see it trading above two point eight one, just stay long above this. We are going to look forward to three dollar plus plus levels very very soon. In fact, it is going to hit three point. One four three point two levels possibility is there that it can try to attempt and achieve these levels in a hurry. On the downside, I will recommend you to sell here at two point five eight, but then also two point five five, two point five, two point four eight, two point four five, and two point four. Till here, extremely, extremely, extremely good support exists here. This is something which it should not break. Then this is also great support, and hence we should be watchful of this. Two point four eight, two point five, and two point four specifically. These three levels are very very important. Below this is where the bears will take over for two point three, two point two levels. I do not expect that natural gas is going to stay bearish till towards two point two, two point three levels. Even if it has to retrace two point four, at worst is going to provide the maximum support here, and hence achieving those levels, it can bounce back again. Hence, you should trade with caution on the sell side. In fact, I will recommend every dip is an opportunity to buy, 
and rather try to buy it at lower levels if you see it dropping uh, below 2.4 levels then you should try to initiate a buy entry take your positions accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trading stop loss do like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship by join my signals channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading week and a happy weekend thank you very much